hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from matt Walsh, and it's titled why the left trump assassination conspiracy theory is ridiculous you guys i'm super excited for this if i had to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about now, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on this show talking about the left's reaction to the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. The reaction has been everything you'd expect, just as vile and depraved as you knew it would be. There's been a lot of stuff like this. Here's Jack Black's bandmate, Kyle Gass, at a concert in Australia making a wish on stage. Watch. <laughs> Don't miss Trump next time, he says. Hmm. Now, that's obviously a disgusting thing to say. Yeah. Uh, to say to say it at all is despicable and grotesque. To say mm -hmm. it in a foreign country is cowardly and traitorous, if not if not legally traitorous, then morally at least. But um, and and they've since apologized for that and backtracked and everything. And now that they're it, apparently they're shutting down their tour uh, because of it, all that's to be expected. It. But you know, it was said, and uh, it's actually not shocking though. In fact, the only thing shocking in that clip is that apparently people actually attended a Jack Black concert. So Australia's fall from grace continues. And there are many more clips and social media posts like that one. We don't need to harp on them. But I do want to take a moment for today's Daily Cancellation to focus briefly on a different sort of reaction from the left. Mere moments after the shooting happened on Saturday, many leftists had already decided that the shooting didn't actually happen at all. Or it did, mm -hmm. but it was planned ahead of time by Trump himself. Wow. He uh, hired somebody to shoot at him. Or he pretended that the guy shot at him. The theory isn't exactly clear. The left cannot meme, and it also can't come up with coherent conspiracy theories, we've learned. But the basic idea, whatever the specifics might be, is that the shooting was staged. Mm -hmm. In fact, this idea is so popular that the word staged was trending nationwide oh, immediately cool. after That's the shooting. Right. The Guardian reports, quote, Soon after a bullet grazed Donald Trump's ear, the conspiracy theory hashtag started appearing. Social media discourse on the shooting was immediately punctuated by hashtag staged, hashtag fake assassination, hmm. hashtag staged shooting, as a familiar refrain took hold. Don't trust what they tell you. One post on X with the hashtag staged queried whether a bullet really tore past Trump's ear. It's been viewed more than 500,000 times. Quote, if it grazed him, then where did the traveling bullet go as it would have continued flight towards that towards those people, it asked. Much of the skeptical commentary relies on analyzing images and footage taken by official media outlets of the Pennsylvania rally. Another tweet from an account critical of Trump had uh, said, uh, quote, uh, or had 2.1 million views as of Monday, although it did not carry one of the hashtags that proliferated around the Internet from uh, Saturday into Sunday. Quote, a presidential candidate got shot in the face and our collective reaction as a country was to laugh because nothing has ever looked so fake. It's mm. Now, I don't know a single person whose reaction was to laugh, but then again, I'm not a sociopath and I don't surround myself with sociopaths. For a more detailed explanation of the staged theory, you can, of course, turn to TikTok, which is full of videos from self-appointed crime scene analysts who have determined that this shooting could not have actually happened. Or if it did, it had to be Trump behind it. Here's uh, one. Wow. Watch. I mean, it's a little weird, you know, that this is America and shooters don't miss unless they're hired to. People often flee the scene of a shooting, but these people did not. Instead, they crouched down, not enough to protect themselves, just enough so they could keep recording. And when they saw that the Cheeto Puff was okay, they erupted into applause and the Secret Service still did not rush him off the stage because there was no active threat perceived, even though it had not been declared that the shooter had been apprehended. And I'm just wondering something that I can't say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> This is America and shooters don't miss unless they're hired to, mm -hmm. she says. She apparently believes that America is populated exclusively by expert marksmen. We're a nation of highly trained assassins who never miss unless we're paid to. We're a nation of John Wicks, she imagines. Uh, never mind the fact that any gang shooting in any major city will expend about 10 bullets just to hit the target once in the leg. Now, this wasn't a gang shooting, obviously, but the point still stands. And if you don't find her reasoning compelling... Maybe you'll be persuaded by this guy with a ponytail and a tie-dye shirt, the true mark of a forensics expert. Watch. 
Trump's floundering. Project 2025, everything is like hitting the fan, right? He needs a bump. And there's a lot of dedicated MAGA out there. MAGA, be honest. Would any of you be willing to take a bullet for your president, your idol, your king god? Ugh. Anyway. So, uh, it's not unreasonable to think they found somebody who's willing to lay their life on the line. Because how the hell does this guy wander around, crawl around up for seven minutes? People are pointing this guy out. He is able to get a shot off. And really, like, if he was skilled enough to pull all this off, you really don't think he'd be a better shot? Like, I'm sorry, but a lot of this seems fishy. A lot of this mm. seems planned. And that photograph with the flag, and, like, it just seems so staged. Mm. Of all the absurdly yeah. false claims packed into that 50-second clip, probably the most absurd is the claim that Trump was the one floundering prior mm. to this assassination attempt. It was Trump. I mean, the Biden campaign had just endured two weeks where the top headline on every news channel and in every publication, was that their candidate is senile and, and unable to perform the basic functions of the office. So if anyone was desperate and likely to do something drastic, it was them. And yet this conspiracy theory is pervasive on the left and has gone far beyond the boundaries of TikTok and Twitter. The YouTuber James Klug went out into the real world and asked random liberals what they think about it. And let's just say that the idea that TikTok and Twitter aren't real life has taken a major blow. Watch. It's a, oh, it's a false flag. False flag. Yeah, false flag. People, somebody died and two people injured. What do you think about that? False flag. False flag. I thought it was magnificently staged. It was professionally done. Whoa. It almost looked real. Wait, wait, wait. Staged by who? Oh, by Mr. Trump, of course. I think this whole thing is staged. You think it was staged? Yeah. It depends on everybody's view. Yeah, have view of the assassination yeah. attempt. Yeah. What do you think? Does it does it kind of depend on where you're standing, whether or not you agree with the assass assassination attempt or disagree with it? I just don't see. I just don't see that being the truth. But that's my. I just. I'd rather just not make any comments. Really quick. What's the. No. What's, <laughs> what are you talking about? The truth. What do you mean? Oh, you just don't believe it was an assassination attempt. No, no. no. Please don't. No. We're so anti-Trump. I don't even want. To was it a bad thing though? Uh, I mean, Honestly, I, it, was it a bad thing? Would you condemn it? Wow, you guys, this is so, so shocking to hear. I don't even know what to say about this, but let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. What does Trump really have to gain by staging this whole thing? The world has really, really gone crazy because someone actually died during this whole assassination attempt and yet they still believe that this was put off by donald trump this is really really insane and let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys oh that he got oh, shot yeah. of course yeah, right. of that's course all. you don't do that that's all messed yeah that's no that's really bad no matter, yeah exactly you don't do that was it staged probably so you just thought it was it was fake of course one person died in the crowd, two critically injured. What yeah, happened there? Small price. It doesn't ma wouldn't matter to Trump. Do you think he cares that people die for him to be elected? This doesn't mean anything yeah. to Trump. Now, staged uh, from whose side? Do you think Donald Trump staged it for attention? Could be, or it could be the other side trying to make a scene or something. But I, I don't. The fact that he only got his ear and he would like sit up and said America. I don't. Come on. Right. It doesn't feel normal. Hmm. So as you can tell, this is a big lift for the conspiracy theorists. They prefer to claim that no bullet was ever fired that the gun was shooting blanks or something. But the people in the audience were hit, and one was tragically killed, so that fantasy is ruled out. So they're left with option B, which is that Trump arranged to have a real gun shoot a real bullet 25 millimeters from his brain. He went out and found some random 20-year-old and trusted the guy to give him an ear piercing from 150 yards out. Of course, the funny thing is that if Trump really did this, which, as anybody with an IQ above freezing already knows, he didn't. It would still mean that it would still mean he's incredibly brave. I mean, it would mean that he's an evil, conniving villain, yes, but certainly the bravest evil, conniving villain in history. Mm -hmm. If he hired someone to shoot at his head, I mean, all I can say is that if I really wanted something and the only way I could obtain it somehow was to allow someone else to aim an AR 15 at my ear. I would choose to simply not have that thing, whatever it is, yeah. whether it's the presidency or anything else. Mm -hmm. So even in the left's feverish imagination, even in the fictional land of their most far-fetched, deranged conspiracy theories, 
Trump's physical bravery is almost superhuman. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think we need to spend much more time explaining why Trump didn't arrange to be shot in the head. It's the kind of conspiracy theory that debunks itself. I think the slightly more interesting question is why these people are humiliating themselves by advancing this moronic theory in the first place. Now, partly it's their basic instinct to demonize Trump at every turn, in every situation, reflexively, no matter what happens. Yeah. We know that. But at a deeper level, I think these people can't wrap their minds around the fact that Trump responded with such dignity and courage in such a harrowing circumstance. Because they know yeah. that if they were in his shoes, if someone shot at them, they would crumple into a ball. They would hyperventilate, cry uncontrollably. They cannot accept that anyone could respond differently, least of all Donald Trump. And maybe uh, deeper still, they recognize that this is a defining moment for Donald Trump. It is, a, it, is, it is no doubt the defining moment of his life. And he defined himself in that moment as someone who was brave and admirable. Trump's enemies cannot stand that fact. I mean, it fills them with rage. They can't accept it. Yeah. Because they want Trump to be defined by his sins and his foibles, both real and imagined. They spent mm -hmm. a decade working on this project to define Trump. They want to define. They want Trump to be defined by, you know, the Access Hollywood tape or January 6th or, or whatever. They've worked again for a decade to define him in the most negative terms possible. And then That's true. this happens. And all of that work goes to waste. But, but there is a lesson here for all of us, if only we're willing to learn it, which is that we're all defined by moments. Only a few moments when all is said and done. Now, most of us will never have a, a moment that ends up in the history book like Trump. But even so, when we die at our funeral or for years after that, those closest to us will not vividly remember or remember at all the vast majority of the things we did and said. And it's, a, it's a sad truth, really. It's like something you should really let sink in. Because, in fact, almost everything we have ever done or said will be forgotten. It's already been forgotten, even by us. Instead, there will be just a few moments, a few defining moments yeah. that live on in people's minds. Just a few moments will That's determine true. how you are remembered. A hundred years from now, Trump's name will be associated with only a few things. Maybe only one. And if it is just one, it will be this one. A hundred mm. years from now, your sure. name, my name, will probably be forgotten entirely, as is the fate of the vast majority of humans who've ever lived. But for however long you're remembered, you will be remembered through moments. Yeah. Only a few. Yeah. Will they be moments where you rise to the occasion where you fail to that's up to you to decide and that's the lesson we could all learn from this unless we're too busy inventing the dumbest conspiracy theories of all time which is why the people squandering this learning opportunity in that way are today canceled wow you guys that was such an interesting one from Matosh. as always Matosh has said nothing but the truth in this video and one thing he said that really stood out for me is the fact that one moment can change history forever and what happened to donald trump on that stage is a moment that people are going to remember forever and if there is anything donald trump will remember for after so many years it may actually be what happened on that stage in pennsylvania let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below it was really really insightful and i had fun reacting to this video and i believe you guys also enjoyed watching if you did enjoy watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys